Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Yeah, you read that headline correctly. There is a dog killer on the loose. And uh, as a result, Lucy is on the bench. She's my 64 pound fishing partner. You see her on the back of, uh, of my kayak. She's a beautiful lab. She loves the water. Well, she is on the bench um, until further notice. I'm not allowing her near any body of water because there has been a blue green algae outbreak in Northern California. One dog has died on the American River. Another dog became seriously ill after swimming in Folsom Lake. Uh, my dog trainer messaged me last night and told me to keep Lucy away from any body of water. Um, if you don't know about this blue-green algae, sounds like there's a car coming. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'll get back to you after this car goes by. It was actually a buddy of mine named Kevin driving his old yellow Chevy down the road here. He's a caretaker of a cabin out here. Anyway, if you don't know about blue-green algae, it's a toxic algae. It is now nationwide. Um, the toxicity of the algae is really a moving target. It, the water can be safe today, toxic tomorrow, and safe the day after. The toxicity of the algae is, uh, is a result of a combination of the water temperature the air temperature, and the amount of sunlight on any given day. And when a dog is exposed to it, it's not a long-term illness. They can die, you know, almost instantly. So it's very dangerous. It's hard to detect. And veterinarians, they have no cure. There's nothing they can give the dog to stop or reverse the toxicity. So some dogs survive. Most dogs don't when exposed to it. And dogs like uh, Labradors, stuff like that, dogs that will retrieve sticks or balls from the water, they're at the highest risk level for ingesting the toxic algae. So bottom line is, keep your dog out of the water. If you love your dog, keep him out of the water. And this just doesn't mean Folsom Lake and the American River. This stuff can pop up anywhere. It can be transported from lake to lake. And uh, as I said, it's a, it's a function of the temperature, the water temperature, air temperature, and the amount of sunlight. So there's no telling when the toxicity can, you know, spike up to uh, fatal levels for a dog. This is probably not going to be a problem once water temperatures start dropping around Northern California, but right now, late August, early September, water temperatures are high at a lot of lakes there in the 80s. Um, We've still got pretty long days, pretty warm nights. So as a result, Lucy's on the bench. Your dog should be on the bench too. It doesn't take very much water ingestion to kill them. And uh, let's face it, we all love our dogs and we don't want anything bad to happen to them. So I just wanted to pass this along to all the viewers of the channel. Um, this is important. Most of us have dogs. Most of us love to take dogs fishing with us, but uh, not a good idea at this time. Anyway, sad news, but uh, something you needed to know. Thanks a lot. I'm Kel Kellogg. Um, I'll keep Keep you posted if I hear any more. Um, but for now, keep those dogs out of the water, and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching the channel, folks, and uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I'll catch you next time. I'm going to continue on with my hike. This is Kel Kellogg. Lucy and I, well, we're signing off.